Fishing is a skill that can easily be overlooked because, frankly, it's boring. However, your cooking skill is something that should not be overlooked. So in this guide, I'm going to show Horde players how you can easily level both your fishing and cooking skills simultaneously to 300. Fishing and cooking are two of your three secondary professions that are available to everyone. Without fishing, it becomes a lot more difficult and time-consuming to level your cooking skill. But with fishing, you can easily level your cooking skill to 300 once you reach level 35. If your goal is to reach level 60 as fast as possible though, I would not suggest you do that. A skill of 300 by level 35 has several advantages should you do this, which includes the ability to save gold since you can support yourself with foods to heal up, provide your own buffs for dungeons, raids, and battlegrounds, and perhaps most important of all, you can easily make enough money to afford your first mount without having to grind hundreds of mobs. So if you're patient and don't mind a bit of downtime between quests, you can enjoy a more lucrative experience while leveling. Now with that said, let's get started. When you reach level 5, you can go ahead and find your respective fishing and cooking trainers to learn your apprentice level proficiency in both skills. You will want to pick up a fishing pole and about 5 bright baubles to help you with your first cast. Now you need to buy your first two recipes, which are Brilliant Small Fish and Long Jaw Mud Snapper. Undead can buy both recipes from Lisbeth Cromwell in Undercity. Everyone else can purchase the Small Fish recipe from Soa Mist Runner and the Longjaw recipe from Null Mist Runner, who are both found in Thunderbluff. Unlike Alliance players, there is really only one good spot to start fishing, and that is in Mulgore at Stone Bull Lake. Here you will be looking to catch at least 60 raw brilliant small fish, and some Longjaw mud snapper. At this level of fishing, every successful catch will net you one fishing skill, so all you are looking to get are those 60 raw brilliant small fish. If you are shy of that number and have maxed out your fishing skill at 75, just continue to fish until you reach that amount. Cook your brilliant small fish until you reach a cooking skill of 50, and begin to cook your long chop mud snapper until you reach the skill of 75. Once you reach level 10 and have a skill of 50, you can purchase your journeyman level proficiency from your respective trainer. The recipe you will also want to purchase at this time will be bristle whisker catfish. You can purchase this recipe from Derek Nightfall, who is conveniently found at Terran Mill, which is going to be the next location where you will be fishing. First cook your remaining long jaw mud snapper until you reach a cooking skill of 100. Once there, you can now fish in the river directly east of Terran Mill in the Hillsbrad foothills until you max your fishing skill at 150. You will now have more than enough bristle whisker catfish to also maximize your cooking. So cook them all up until you get your cooking skill to 150. To learn your expert level proficiency, you will need to be at level 20 and have your skill at level 125. You will not be able to learn expert by your trainer, so you will have to do some traveling and have at least two gold in your possession. To learn expert fishing, you need to go to Booty Bay and find Old Man Hemming who will sell you the book, The Bass and You. Getting the cookbook is a much longer walk because you will need to go to Shadowprey Village in Desolus. There you will find a dark spear troll named Wulan, who will sell you the expert cookbook for another gold piece. You will also want to purchase your next recipe, which is Mithril Head Trout, and you can pick that up from Wulan, who just sold you the cookbook, or Kelsey Yance, who is located in Booty Bay. By far the best place to fish for Mithril Head Trout is in the moat of Stromgard Keep in Arathi Highlands. Now if you're on a PvP server, you can expect to be messed with here from time to time because you will be here for a while. Level your fishing until you max your skill at 225, and you will likely catch over 100 mithril head trout in the process. This will be more than enough for you to cook your way to a cooking skill of 225 as well. When you reach level 35, and if your skills are at 225, you will be ready to learn your artisan level proficiency in both professions. To do so, you will have to complete a quest for each of your professions, and so to start, we will look at how you obtain Artisan Fishing. 
The quest giver is Nat Pagel, who is located here in the Dustwalla Marsh just southeast of Theramore. To get to him, you will want to fly to Brackenwall Village, and take this path through the hills to get to the coastline. Just follow the coastline all the way to this tiny island here, where you will find Nat Pagel, and he will offer you the fishing quest called Nat Pagel Angler Extreme. You need to catch four rare fish, and bring them back to Nat. Those fish are the Feralus Ahi, found in the Verdantis River in Feralus, Sartheris Striker, found in the Sartheris Strand in Desolus, Savage Coast Blue Sailfin, from the Savage Coast in Stranglethorn Vale, and Misty Reed Mahi Mahi, which is found in the Misty Reed Strand in the Swamp of Sorrows. Once you have caught these four fish, you can return to Nat Pagel and be rewarded with your artisan fishing proficiency. To learn artisan cooking, you need to get to Gadgetzan and Tanaris, and find Dirge Quickleave at the inn. Dirge will give you the quest Clamlet Surprise, and you need to get 12 giant eggs, 10 zesty clam meat, and 20 pieces of Alterox Swiss. If you're rolling in gold, you can simply purchase the giant eggs and zesty clam meat from the auction house. If you'd rather save some money, you will find the giant eggs drop most frequently from the rocks in Tanaris or Owl Beast in the Hinterlands. The zesty clam meat will be found in its most abundance from the Snapjaw Turtles that roam near Steamweedle Port and Raven Tusk Village. For the 20 pieces of Alterox Swiss cheese, just head to Thunderbluff and purchase them from the innkeeper Pela. Once you have all of your ingredients, just head on back to Dirge Quickleave and be rewarded your artisan cooking proficiency. You are now on your way to reaching a skill level of 300, but before you begin, you will want to pick up a few more cooking recipes. First head on over to Booty Bay and find Kelsey Yance, who is the only seller for Filet of Redgill. Now get yourself to Steamweedle Port and speak with a goblin named Gickix, where you can purchase the recipes for Nightfin Soup and Poached Sunscale Salmon. Your final stop is Camp Majachi in Feralus, where you need to find Shindra Tallgrass and purchase the Baked Salmon recipe. Horde players have it a bit easy, because it's here in the waters beneath Camp Majachi, where you will fish to 300. In these waters, you will catch all the fish that you have just purchased recipes for, and while you will easily catch enough redgill to max your cooking to 300, you will also be able to cook fish that will net you near 200 gold by the time you finish, depending on your server economy. It took a lot of patience to get here, but you finally did, and so congratulations on leveling both your fishing and cooking to 300. I now want to take some time to show you where you can easily get a much better fishing pole. When you reach level 30, pick up two elixirs of water breathing from the auction house if you can't make them yourself, and head over to the Sartheris Strand in Desolus. Dive off the pier in Shadowprey Village, and start opening the shellfish traps found in the area. It always takes me about 30 minutes to an hour, but from these cages comes the chance to drop a big iron fishing pole, which gives you a plus 20 to your fishing skill. Be careful in this area though, because Alliance players also like to hunt for the fishing pole as well. Also available for the Horde is a quest that becomes available at level 44 by Katoom the Angler in Raven Tusk Village in the Hinterlands. It's a simple quest that requires you to kill 15 saltwater snapjaws in the area. Once complete, you will be rewarded with Nat Pagel's Extreme Angler Fishing Rod. Thank you very much for watching this fishing and cooking guide for the Horde. If you found this video helpful, please make Nat Pagel proud and like and subscribe to be notified of new content I create for Classic WoW. You can follow me on Twitter at Icosial Classic WoW, or just click on the link provided below. For some of my other content, you can click on any of these links here. Now back in the days of vanilla, there was a drop called Nat Pagel's Guide to Extreme Anglin, and will likely drop again in Classic. Word of advice, don't take its words too literal or you'll be looking for a legendary in all the wrong places.